This week's sentence was, what did you do last weekend? So let's quickly analyze that, see what's supposed to be there, and then when we go through and look at your submissions, we'll have a better idea of what should be happening to compare. What, the W sound, the uh sound, could be the center of gravity, that's fine, it's a schwa, and then a T, what. What did, we have d, e, d, so it's the e like an it, and what's actually happening here, I'm doing a spoken contraction, I'm not saying what did, I'm saying, would you, would you? Now, where's the j coming from? So the t's disappearing, we have that d, but then the y in u is actually blending with the d and becoming j, would you? So we have w, a, j. So all of those sounds, what did you, just became would you. Now the u, the u and u can reduce to a, uh, that's okay, it might sound a little more informal. Would you do? What'd you do? What'd you do? Last, also stress, we have the L sound, the A ah, like in cat, an S, then the T at the end. Remember, a very common thing that happens is the a T after an S at the end of a word will commonly just disappear. It doesn't have to, but it's very common that it does. Last, last. So when we say last weekend, very commonly, you can say last weekend. It's probably the most common thing we're gonna do. Sui. Of course, weekend is a W and E sound, like an eat, a K, week. It's going to be a weak K linking to E, the third vowel sound, like in bed. Week, week, and then we have N, weekend, weekend. Of course, this is a word with two stresses as primary and secondary. The primary is the most important and that primary stress is on week. We say weekend, not weekend, weekend. What'd you do last weekend? What'd you do last weekend? So now let's take a look at some of your submissions. First up, we have a recording from Hannah. What do you do last weekend? What do you do last weekend? What do you do last weekend? So here, Hannah, you're saying, what do you do? So you're not saying what did, you're saying what do, that's what I'm hearing. What do you do? Your pronunciation overall is pretty solid. I like it. There's a bit of an accent to it. And ultimately that comes down to mouth posture, which you can check out the mouth posture course. But let's see if we can give some tips here. What do you do last weekend? I like to stress on what, and then on that second do, what do. What do you do last weekend? What do you do last weekend? Now I can hear it when you say do, it's like do. Do, do, ooh, 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 ooh. That ooh is kind of like too tight. You don't have enough space. Um, you also don't have the right posture with center of gravity. Ooh, ooh. We don't say ooh, 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 ooh. It's a little lighter, but you want to try to get maybe more space here. Not ooh, ooh, do, do. Also in the word last. So you're saying last, la, ah, 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 ah. What do you do last weekend? I like the linking. Last weekend, you dropped the T, it's perfect. What do you do last weekend? Your rhythm is also a little bit off in the middle. Like you're saying like, do you do, do you do? It's a little too much kind of like punchy. The rhythm is slightly off, but it's generally pretty good. You just kind of got to smooth out, make sure that the focus word stands out a bit more. Very good job overall. Next up is Timberland. What'd you do last weekend? What'd you do last weekend? What'd you do last weekend? You have this kind of punchy quality. Like you're like, da 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 what did you do last weekend? Instead of da 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 da. Now in the sentence that I gave you, I actually said it like, "What'd you do last weekend? What'd you do last weekend?" And you were putting the focus on weekend, which is fine. That's a good sentence, but it sounds more like you're talking about the weekend, like as opposed to last week or the weekend. Some, some other time, right? <laughs> uh, again, that focus word can move around depending on the context. So you're okay there, but it doesn't match what I gave you. I'm also noticing just like with Hannah, your ooh is a little stiff. It's pretty good, but it's a little bit off. What did I do last weekend? What did I do last weekend? Now your E is really good, but I'm noticing maybe a bit of tension maybe from back here, like E, 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 instead of E, E, E. See, it's a little clearer. Weekend. 
we, we. We want to maintain the space in the mouth even if the sound is more closed. That's why the jaw has to be open a certain amount and you want to have that center of gravity not fully formed, but that gives us a little bit more space here. E, we, even for the W. Lips round, jaw doesn't really move much. We. Other than that, your flow is pretty solid. I like it. Very good job overall. A little bit of work probably with the posture, a couple sounds, and again, that rhythm is really the biggest problem. Our next recording comes from Fernando, and this is probably the best recording so far out of the ones we've seen. Not perfect. I do have some feedback here, but let's take a listen to this one. What you do last weekend? What you do last weekend? What you do last weekend? Very, very good. You're, you, you have this sort of openness to your sound, which is generally pretty good. In this particular sentence, I don't hear too much of an accent. However, you're kind of, I guess I would say, I don't want to say stiff. That's not necessarily the right word. But the, the space that you do have is maybe not enough or it's not in the right place. What I mean by that, so like when you say what, it kind of sounds like you're saying like, what, what you, what you, instead of like, what you, what, uh, what you, what you. Now, if you say it more quickly, of course, you can get more closed, go more into that true tra, like, what'd you do, what'd you do, what'd you do, what'd you do, that's fine. But it sounds to me like maybe you're kind of pushed forward a little bit. You're not quite giving enough space for the speed that you're speaking. So it needs to be maybe a little bit more open with the tongue. Could be your jaw is fine, but the tongue is a little too high. And maybe that's why we have this weird balance of like, generally sounds like enough space, but here it almost sounds like it's a little closed. But let's go ahead and take a look at your stress. What you do last weekend? What you do last weekend? I like that. What you do last weekend? What you do last weekend? There is a little bit of an intonational problem here where it almost kind of sounds like you're curious, right? Like, what'd you do last weekend? What'd you do last weekend? What'd you do last weekend? Instead of, what'd you do last weekend? What'd you do last weekend? So because you have this little bit more bouncy, little bit kind of higher overall tone or pitch, it's making it sound like curious. You're also kind of coming up a bit high at the end there. Like, what'd you do last weekend? What'd you do last weekend? Weekend. Instead of, what'd you do last weekend? What'd you do last weekend? So that's also kind of making it sound a little bit curious, almost like it's a regular question. In a way, it's a subtle little thing and the intonation is complicated. But remember on WH question, we tend to fall at the end just like on a regular statement. And because you're kind of maybe coming up a little bit, that's kind of giving a little bit of a different impression or feeling to it. What'd you do last weekend? So you're blending the J, you're dropping the T in last. It's all really good. Linking it to the W, that's fantastic. You have a good flow. So your A is really, really good, but still slightly off. Um, it does sound more like ad. I'm not hearing like a Spanish like a ah sound or something. It's not like last weekend. What you do last weekend? But it's still, again, I'm detecting maybe that tongue is slightly pushed forward or this is kind of held maybe too high. There's something that is off. Um, again, make sure the center of gravity is built in there. Now, when you're saying weekend, so that E. What you do last weekend? Super, super close. And I think you're kind of a little high here. We, 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 weekend, weekend, weekend. What you do last weekend? It's generally pretty good. You're very, very close, but it just seems to me like there's something kind of a little too closed somewhere. And then your eh is also pretty good, but you're kind of going more towards like the Spanish eh sound, like the start of the a eh diphthong in, in English. So you're supposed to go from k to eh, and you're kind of going like k to eh, and then down into eh. What you do last weekend? What you do last weekend? So it's kind of, it's giving you a little bit of an accent. So weekend, ke, eh, eh, not weekend, 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 weekend. Probably in your case, the biggest overall issue is, is uh, the intonation, kind of just giving a bit of a curious feeling to it. I do also notice that you are putting a partial end of word devoicing on the D and it's coming out like a little bit of a T at the end, weekend, weekend. And that's perfectly fine. It's fantastic. Very good. Our next recording comes from Eritroxalon, or at least that's how I like to pronounce it. What'd you do last weekend? What'd you do last weekend? What'd you do last weekend? So your pronunciation is, is clear. Uh, it's overall pretty good, I think. It sounds kind of lazy in a way, which is not a bad thing because 
you know, usually we tend to speak kind of lazily anyway. We don't enunciate everything, but it kind of stands out like, 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 what'd you do last weekend? What'd you do last weekend? So it's maybe a little extra lazy. Now for you, really having difficulty picking out things that are wrong. Um, I do think that maybe this is a little high or the back of the tongue is slightly pushed forward. Um, I'm sort of hearing a little bit of that throughout. What'd you do? What'd you do? What'd you do last weekend? What'd you do last weekend? You're mostly forming the sounds correctly, but there's just this little bit of interference somewhere from here in the back. And then uh, on last again, that ah. What'd you do last weekend? Last, last, last. I think that you're you're forming it just well enough for a lazy ah, which is fine. Like ah, 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 last, last, last. That's okay. So when you're pronouncing weekend, what'd you do last weekend? I really had to listen to this quite a few times. It just sounds like maybe your positioning, your your transition through the word is a little off. Like weekend, 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 weekend. Almost like you're going into ah, kind of weekend, weekend. When it's weekend, weekend, weekend. And I notice that here you're actually dropping the D on weekend, which is fine. What'd you do last weekend? What'd you do last weekend? So we saw one person who added a, a partial end of word devoicing on the D to make it kind of a T at the very end. That works. We see here a person dropping the D that also works. But these are both common variations in American English. This is why I tell you guys it's a range. There's multiple possibilities. You guys are doing great. Our last recording here is from Chiggy. What you do last weekend? What you do last weekend? What you do last weekend? So it's an interesting pronunciation of the sentence. The first thing I want to say is the way that you're saying it, it sounds like just overall, it sounds sort of like you are in a very casual, relaxed, like playful way. You know, instead of like, what'd you do last weekend? It's like you're like, what'd you do last weekend? What you do last weekend? It's like an intentional playing with the language. So it doesn't necessarily sound completely wrong, but it sounds like you're trying to get some special effect out of the way that you say it. Uh, and that includes sort of changing some of the sounds from their normal place. What you do last weekend. So you say like, what you do, what you do, what you do. That contributes to that sort of really casual, like playing with the language. What you do, what you do, what you do. That's sort of normal standard. What'd you do? What'd you do? So you're really drawing out that ooh. Normally we wouldn't do that. What'd you do last weekend? Uh, last weekend, weekend, last week. You almost have a little bit of like a Southern accent on this, kind of, on some parts of it. Also, it sounds to me like you're giving the primary stress to end, which is not the normal stress pattern for weekend. It should be on week, as we talked about earlier. So you're saying like weekend instead of weekend. Now I do hear that little tiny bit of a t at the end of weekend, which is perfectly fine. That's good, that's a good point. I'm also hearing you say what you do instead of what you do. I say what you do last weekend. I suppose maybe that could happen if we get really, really lazy, but because it wouldn't be understood any other way, I don't think uh, in this particular case, like what you, that'd be like, what are you? But if I say what you do instead of what you doing, Okay, what you do would probably still be interpreted as what did you do? So the grammar can help us figure that out and that would probably be okay. But I would recommend not doing whatcha. If it's what did you do, say what ya or what you. What you do last weekend. The way that you're pronouncing the L, like la, la, la. Well, it's hard for me to reproduce, but there's something going on with the formation of the L. Like it sounds kind of tight in a way, like la, 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 la. What you do last weekend. So this recording is a good example of how you might sort of play with the language. If that wasn't your intention, there's definitely some stuff to work on and balance things out. The sentence for next time is going to be, should I do it now or later? Should I do it now or later? Let me know if this kind of analysis is useful for you guys. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. I will only accept submissions for the most recent video. So if the description of this video says submissions are closed, then you have to go to the most recent one of these, which you can find in the playlist and submit that sentence. Thank you so much for watching another English Hacks lesson and I'll see you in the next one.